back to our warm up here. All right, Rosemary, sorry about that. I sent it, but I guess sometimes those things get lost. Four more. Three, two, one. Alternating front lunges, just a little step forward. Tuck that hip underneath you. Let's do four more of these. Four, three, two. Hold the right leg back on the next exhale. Right leg steps back, bend the knee to the floor, take it down, take it up. Good, go on the ball of the foot. Tuck your hips under, tuck your tailbone under. Give me four of these. Three, two, let's hold that knee down. One, hands on your thighs. Tuck the tailbone underneath you. Lean slightly forward then and straighten that back leg. Reach your arms out in front of you. Reach all the way out. Pull the hips towards the center. Good. As you exhale, rise up again. Bend the knee again. Hands onto your thigh. Tailbone tops. Stretch it out and then straighten the arms and leg. Four counts. Three, two. Bring that right knee back up to your chest. And down. Switch legs. Left leg back behind you. Knee bend. Tuck the tailbone. Oh, we did a few of these. Let's so go up and down. Good. Give me four of these. Three, two, we're gonna hold that last one down. Hold it here, tuck that tailbone. Then place your hands on the floor, tilt forward and straighten the back leg. Reach your arms out in front of you, pull your shoulders back, pull your hips towards midline. Inhale, exhale, one more breath. Arms up, hips down, bend your knees. Good, hands on your thigh. Tilt forward, straighten that back leg. One more time, reach it all the way out. And then draw that left knee up to your chest, balancing. Take it down, good. Bring your hands behind your head. Rotate or twist, then bend to the right side. Come back to center, twist and bend to the left side. One more time. Good, nice and easy today in, order, in terms of following. Left side, come back to center. Bend your knees, a little good morning here, and then take your arms in front of you. Round your back out, pull the belly all the way into the spine. And then rise all the way back up. All right, shake it out guys, let's get started. We're gonna start with a plie squat, so a wide-legged squat, weight at your chest, so like a goblet squat grip of your weight. And then we're gonna take that same weight, actually I'm gonna use a kettlebell, if you have a kettlebell feel free to use it, only for what we're doing next. We're gonna do 12 squats with this, then we're gonna leave the weight on the floor and pick it up with the opposite arm. You'll follow along, it won't be hard to find. So turn your toes out if you're not squatting all the way down, you might be doing a little simple pulse or a calf raise. How many people are feeling their calves today after Monday's workout? I am, okay. Let's go in four, three, two, we've got 12. One, two, three. Uh, again, if I'm always too fast or too slow, you go at your own count, there's 12 reps. Five, six, seven, touch the elbows inside the thighs, eight, nine, ten. Two more. Last one. Now we're going to do the same squat, but we're going to bring the weight down. We're going to squat, leave it down, pick it up with the right arm. This is one. Leave it down, pick it up with the left arm. This is two. Bring it down. Pick it up with the right arm, three. Come down, pick it up, four. Good, five. The lower the weight is to the floor, the more your glutes are gonna work. Six. Seven. Eight, make sure you're using your butt to pick up, not your back, all right? So make sure you're not bowing over, this is nine. 10, 11, and 12. Put it down, shake it out, stretch it out. So when you leave the weight down, if you can, leave it standing on its long side. If you put it down on the floor, that's great, but make sure you don't use your back to pick it back up. All right, so we're gonna repeat that again. If you want to change your positioning of your feet and come into a neutral stance for a traditional squat, go for it. Otherwise, let's turn the toes out. Hold the weight underneath your chin. 12 reps with just holding the weight. We go in three, two, let's go. 12, 
Good, 11, 10, drive through the heels, 9, 8, 7, 6, good, 5, don't bow, 4, 3, keep your torso more upright, turn your toes out, 2, one more, and unless you're in a traditional stance, 1, stand up, all right, bring the weight down to the floor or towards the floor. We start in three, two, one. Bring it down. Good, now pick it up with the right arm. Leave it down, that's one. Pick it up. This is two. This is three. Here comes four. Good. Five. Squeeze your inner thighs. Six. Seven, keep your torso upright. Eight, Christine, it's a little dark by you, but <laughs> nine, 10, two more, 11, one more, and 12, bring it down and stand up. Shake it out, do what you gotta do. Move it off to the side. We're gonna go for two weights. We're still working some legs, guys. So this leg has arms with it. So if you would prefer to um, not do the legs and just do the arms. We've got a lunge to a rear kick. So we're gonna lunge back with a bicep curl and then kick the leg with a tricep kick back. So we're gonna land right back in that bicep curl lunge, kick back, lunge, kick back. Make sense? Right side first, and then the left side. All right, let's see how we do with our weights. Everybody up and ready? Pick up your challenging, but not too challenging weights. Right leg is first, in three, step back, two, one. So take your first step back lunge. As you come up, kick back and extend the arms and legs. Two, right back into the lunge. Three, back. Four, back, five, kick back, six, hang in there, seven, eight, nine, good, ten. Now don't make it just a swing, right? Control it. Eleven, and one more. Twelve, and back, good. So make sure you're not swinging your arms or kicking your hips higher than your back or your butt, I should say, uh, or your leg higher than your hips. All right, left leg back, bicep curl, three, two, go. Curl, kick, curl, two, good. Three, you can see this is my challenging side. Four, back, five, back, six, that's it guys, seven, you can always do just the arms, eight, back, nine, back, three, good, two more times, two, one more time, curl, and back, put it down, good. Figure out, was that way good for you? Too much, too little. Grab some water, get ready for round two. All right, we will revisit biceps in a little bit, as well as triceps, so have no fear. Bend your knees to pick up your weights. I'm going to sneeze, excuse me. <laughs> you know, if I could count a handful on my hand, how many times I've done that in fitness. All right, in the class teaching. Right leg is back, bicep curl, kick back, tricep extension. Three, two, let's go. Right leg, one, two. Good, stabilize on that left side. Three, kick back, four, that's it. Five, six, Seven, 
So the arm and leg are doing the same thing. Eight, bending and straightening. Nine. Ten. Drive into that heel. Eleven. One more. Twelve. And release. All right. Second set, second side. Left leg goes back in three, two, let's go. Curl, kick, two, kick, three, kick, four. So make the kick out of your buttocks, not your lower back. Five, six, seven, whoops, eight, nine, Three more. Three, two, last one guys. One, and done. Put it on down. Shake it out, stretch it out, grab some water. All right, next exercise. Lighter weights, curtsy squat. This will be the last of our standing leg work. Curtsy squat, leg comes behind you. Try not to stick that hip out. Try to keep everything squared. As you step behind, arms come front. As you step side or kick side, arms go side. So it's a front, side. If you prefer to change the arms around, that's okay. I'm going for light weights. Right leg is the mover to start with. If front raises doesn't feel good to your shoulders or your back or your neck, do an upright row. And again, if you're not curtsying, arms only. Right leg is first. Light weights in three, two, good. One, kick out. Two, kick out. Three, good. So the leg that kicks goes behind you, Ram. The leg that kicks, good. yeah, there you go. But keep your other hip in. There you go. So just like you would do in a standing position, Six, six more, six. So think about how we act in yoga in tree or something. Seven, we don't want to stick our hip out to the side. We want to keep it center. Eight, out, nine, three more. Three, two, one more, and one, raise it up. If you didn't use light weights, you might say, gosh, I wish I used light weights right about then. So feel free to change your weights up. I might even go lighter on our second set. Left leg is the mover. It goes behind you and then out to the side. Hug the right hip into the center in three. Left leg moves, two, one. One, kick, two. So again, arms and legs kind of do the same Action, three, or at least in the, in the kick, four, five, six, seven, good, eight, there you go, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. Put it down, take a rest, roll your shoulders out and around. Another option, which is a lot of thinking, is one arm front and then switch, right? So you could try that. Why not? Just keeps you thinking, it's like, you know, hang your head and walking, chewing, whatever. All right, right leg goes first, four, Right leg is the mover. Three, two, let's go. One, switch arms. Two, switch arms. If you're doing that, three, out. Four, out. Five, out. Anybody taking that? Good Lord. Six, seven. It's not a kick like a boxing kick. It's a straight leg abductor kick, yeah. Eight. Nine. 
10, 11, not that a boxing kick is wrong, 12 or bad, and up. Woo, is it just my shoulders? They're tired. All right, left leg. I'm gonna try this with the reverse arms. We'll see how I do. Left leg moves in three, two, and one. One, it's just that first one that's funky. Two, then you get the rhythm. Out, three, out, four, out, five. Good, so you're moving out of the hip. Good, bro, good, yeah, that was good. Sometimes you have to fall to figure it out. Seven, whoops. Eight, nine, 10. Keep the arms soft if you need to and keep them below your shoulders one more time. One, woo -wee. I don't know about you, my shoulders were feeling that one. All right, onward and upward. We've got a back row. One leg forward, one leg back. Hand on the thigh or out to the side. We're gonna row for 12, then we're gonna row and add a, nope, we're gonna row and add a scarecrow, single arm. So it will be a row, scarecrow, all right? Right arm, I'm gonna try this and see if this is a good weight for me. Right arm, left leg forward. Left hand can be on your thigh, but if you want a little bit more center work, leave it off the side. Ball of the back foot, shoulders and hips, everything else squared, front knee is bent. We're gonna come down, hinge forward, feel it in your left glute. All right, start with the rows only in three, two, go. One, two, three, four. Dig into your left heel so you feel that left glute. Six, seven, eight. You got four more than we add on. Four, three, two, one. Now give me a row. Row, up, down. Two. Up, down, three, up, good, four, five. Don't worry about if you hear the music going in the beat because it's not gonna happen. Six, seven, eight. Don't lift your shoulder blades. Nine, three more, three, two, one more, and switch. All right, did you pick the right weight? Is it appropriate for what we're doing? It may be appropriate for your rows, but not appropriate for the shoulders, so adjust as needed. Right leg forward, right hand on the thigh, preferably out to the side. Bend over position in four, three, two, here we go, 12. One, two, Three, dig into that right heel, so fire up your glute. Four, three, two, you got four more. Four, then we add on. Three, two, now add on. Row, up, in, and down. Two, this way we can go with the music if you like it. Down, three, up, in, down. Four, up, keep going. Five, that's it. Six, seven, good, almost there. Eight, nine, ten, two more. One, last one, two, up and down, good. Switch arms or take a break, take it down. All right, second set, side A. First time with the right arm. Left leg goes forward, 
Right hand holds the weight. Shoulders and hips are squared. Again, hand on the thigh is good, it's fine. This just gives you a little bit more opportunity to work through your middle. All right, here we go. Square it all off. Front leg is bent. Three, two, just 12 reps, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four more, four, three, two, we add on next. Good, here we go. So it's a row, up, down, again. Two, up, down. No traps, guys, shoulders down. Four, that's it. Five, six, press into your left heel a lot. Seven, eight, Last four. Four, up, three, bison, two, thank you. I'll get you, the, I'll get you on the round two. And one, have a great day. All right, some people have to leave early. Everybody will get the video if they need it. All right, right foot forward, left leg back, left arm does the work in four, three, two. Here we go. Row, two, three. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Four. Rosemary told me she upped herself to 15 pounders, guys, because 10 wasn't cutting it anymore. So there's weights out there. Challenge yourselves. Three. Good, add the next row. Row, upright, and down. Two, upright and down, three, upright, and down, four, upright, and down, keep going, five, six, when I say upright, I mean our torso goes upright, not just an upright row, eight, four more, three, two more, Two, up, in, I think we have one more, should we? Last one, down, up, I don't know, I just felt like I was off count. All right, weight down, couple more uh, standing presses or standing um, exercises. Cross body hammers, cross body hammers, we've got 12 of those, then we have a hammer to an overhead press, all right? So figure out which weights are gonna work best for you. All right, I'm gonna try it. If I need to go lighter, I'm gonna go lighter. Bend the knees, pick up your weights. Single arm cross body hammer to start. Then we go to a two arm hammer to an overhead press. Any position you want the arms when you get over the head. In four, three, two, right first go. One two, three. Now you may need help from your hips on the overhead press. That's okay, just don't swing your weight to your back. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Arms by your side, single arm or single hammer curl to a shoulder press, that's one rep. Three, two, go. One, press, and down. Two, if I'm too fast or too slow, challenge yourself or change it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, one more, 12, up and down. Take a break, that's it, grab some water, wipe down. Rethink your weights, 
Should you want to change them, lighter or heavier, feel free to go down. All right. Just a few more seconds, we're gonna pick up our weights. <clears throat> Here we go, let's go. Pick it up, cross body hammers first. Ready, three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four more. Last four. Good, right into the hammers. Here we go. One, press. Two, press. Don't arch your back. Three, if you're arching your back, it may be too heavy. Four, good. Yes, use your glutes to help it out if you need to. Five, six, seven, eight, four more, four, three, two more, two, one more, in, up, and down. All right, gang, get your mat, move on to the floor, grab your weights, let me think, yeah, so think about triceps, think about um, chest, okay, for your final work here on the floor. All right, just in case, I'm gonna bring a couple sets of weights closer. All right, um, can you see me on Zoom? Yes? All right, first thing we're gonna do is skull crushers. One or two weights. Please adjust your camera so I can see you on the floor. Um, skull crushes to the forehead. So one weight or two weights. If you have two weights, just keep them together. It will be a lot easier for you. And then we are going to do a reverse grip tricep, which I'll go over with you as we do it. All right, so skull crushes are first. You know from past experience, you could be on your back with your feet on the floor, your feet in the air, or you can be in a bridge position. We've got 12 reps. I like my legs up, it keeps my back more imprinted. My arms are together unless you're using one weight. Bend the elbows, there's no shoulder action here. And come up to you, to straight up. Three, two, one. One, up, I'm gonna slow it half time. Two, belly to spine, ribs to hips. Three, up, four, up, five, up, six, Keep it going. Seven, up, eight. Be careful when those arms bend or go overhead ever. And your back wants to arch, so I want you to keep your ribs down. Just two more times. Two, one more time. Good. Now I'm gonna turn my palms. I'm gonna change my weight. Actually, I'm gonna go to one heavy weight. All right, so let's do that, because I think it'll be easier. Palms are gonna face you, bend the elbows to your forehead, and straighten up. So we're just reversing our grip. So don't go lighter than you just had. Take a heavy weight. In fact, I'm gonna go get a little bit heavier weight. Um, so we'll burn out the triceps a little bit more. On your back, if you don't have a heavy weight and you feel that you um, are comfortable going with both weights, go for it. Otherwise, turn your palms facing your uh, body or facing your face, all right? Hold on nice and tight. Three, two, touch your face, or, or if you have two weights, you can go to your shoulders. Good. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, let's do four more. I'm not sure where I started my count from, guys. Four, 
three, I think I said 10, I'm not sure. Two and one. I was a little concerned with the weight. All right, stretch it out. So this is where we're going with that second set. If you're in a single arm weight, a single arm weight, each arm, you can do it to your shoulders, which was where I was going uh, originally. So uh, if you wanna go into a, a lighter set of weights, we'll do that. So skull crushers, second set on your back. Knees bent on the floor, in the air, or hips up in three, two, one. One, up, two. So both actions are the same. The shoulders don't move, three. The ribs pull down to the hips, four. Five, six, seven, eight, four more. Four, three, two, one. So, if you want to try it, I made this maybe too heavy even. With the single weight in each hand, you're going to come down towards your shoulders and straighten up. You may not get full range of motion, um, so just see how you feel or go back to the single heavy weight to your forehead. All right? Arms up in the air, legs wherever they will go. If you're doing two weights, they're one in each hand, palms face your face. Three, two, go. One, up, two, up. Again, no movement of the shoulders. It's almost the exact same action, it's just the rotation of the shoulder is different. Four, up, three, two more times. I lied. Four more times after that. Good, give me four. Four, up, three, up. Now these are something you might feel tomorrow just for the difference in them. And one, and bring it in. Woo, stretch it out. All right, moving onward to our chest. Your triceps are involved, so um, in the action of the weight, so don't be surprised if you need to go with a lighter weight to support it. It's very simple. We're going to do a single arm chest press. And what we're going to do is the right arm, and then we're going to do both arms. So at all times, you've got two weights in your hands. When you're doing the right arm, the left arm is up over your shoulder, okay, or over your chest. Same thing with the legs, bent on the floor or in a bridge, though we do have bridges coming. All right, ready? Right arm works. It works. Works first. Three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five. Just listen for my cues because I'm going to go from one side to the other. Seven, eight, four, three, two. Now two arms together. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. If it's too fast, slow it down. On the singles, you might need to go slower. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Arm up, left arm only. Three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Here's where you feel your triceps. Nine, ten. One more after this. Good. Two weights together. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Belly in, ribs down. Seven. Where'd you go, Randy? Eight. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Put your weights down on the floor. Put your hands behind your head. Good. Tilt your pelvis. Lift your pubic bone. Pulse it. Up. Two, three. Tilt your tail pelvis. Five, six, seven, eight again. Eight. Small little controlled movements. Five, 
six, seven, eight again. Eight, I'm getting eaten alive today. Four, five, where did these mosquitoes come from? Again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down, hug your knees into your chest. Roll yourself to sit up so you can pick your weights up in a safe way from your shoulders. Second set, yeah. Single arm, double arm, single arm, double arm. Ready? On your back. Legs where you need them. Right arm is the only arm working. The left arm stays, it's not the only arm working, but it's the only arm moving. Left arm stays in the air. Three, two, go. One, two, three. Just think about those ribs not pooching out. Five, six, seven, eight, four, three, two, one, together. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a chest press. Seven, eight, four, three, two, arms up. Left arm only. Go. Down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last four there, four, three, two, one together, here we go, last set, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, hang in there guys, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Put the weights down. Hands behind your head, legs in the air. Crunch. One, two little pulses. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight again. Belly to spine, ribs to hips. Three, four, good. Five, six, seven, eight again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, eight again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees into your chest. All right. Feel free to put a weight on your hips for bridge work. The first bridge we're gonna do is a bridge and a crunch, actually. So we're gonna lift our hips, come down, and do that crunch. Hips up. Come down, do that crunch. Then we have a single leg kick. You just follow along, all right? Feel free again um, to have a weight on your hips, because, but it's gonna be hard to hold on to if you're holding your hands behind your head. So just make sure, I mean, if you have a flat plate, that's great um, to place it on your belly. So just do what you gotta do. Hands behind your head, tilt your pelvis, hips up one time, let's go. Up, down, crunch, that's one. Up down, crunch, that's two. Up, down, go to your highest height, squeeze your glutes. Good, again. Up, down, crunch. Two, up, crunch. Three, don't move your neck. Your hands are supporting your head. You got four more. Four. Three. Two, one more. Good, on your back. Take that weight on your hip if you're using it. We're going to lift our hip, kick right, come down and do the same thing on the other side. Ready, three, in two, in one, here we go. Right leg, two, three, four, five, six. So arms can be by your side in the air four more times. Four, three, two, and one, all the way down. Hug your knees up to your chest. Take a nice spinal twist. All right, I'm gonna shake it up a little bit here. Come back onto your back with your weights. So grab your weights, moderate to heavy weight. 
All right, you might, I'm gonna actually try it with a lighter weight to start. All right, so you're on your back. We're gonna do a single arm chest fly. All right, so again, when you open your arms or take them overhead or bring them down, the back wants to arch. So the idea here is to get your back imprinted somewhere, some way. Legs up will help me a lot. All right, left arm's gonna stay in the air. Listen carefully. It's gonna be a challenge. Don't go too far where you can't come back. In four, three, two, right arm. One, and in. I'm gonna slow down the beat here. Two, and up. Three, and up. Four, you should feel what's going on, on the left side of your body. Five, and up. Six, and up. Seven, and up. Eight, and up. Oh, there you are, Rosemary. Nine, and up. Three more. And up. Two, and up. One more time. Now two arms together, slow. Out, one, out, two, out, three. Now most of you are not on a bench, but if you are, make sure your shoulders don't drop below the level of a bench or your elbows. Four, don't overstretch the shoulder. One, in, two, in. Three, in, four, good, four more, in, three, hang in there, two more, one, last time, arms are up, right arm stays, left arm goes, here we go, it's a one, that first one's always kind of a doozy, right, two, it lets you know how much you're going to fire up into your core, three, Four, my left arm is not locked out by any stretch of the imagination. And up, it's a soft bend in the elbow, two. Don't overstretch it. Don't go so far you can't come back without some kind of funky moves. Last four. Four, up, three, up, two, one more time. Two arms together, slow control. One, in, two, in, three, four. Hang on there, you got eight, seven, six, five. Good. Four. So it's not a chest press, guys. Open the arms wide. Five. Uh -huh. Six. Slightly different action. Seven. This is our eighth one. Bring it all the way in. Bring the weight down or put it on your pelvis. We're going back to the bridges. In four, three, two, one hip bridge, one crunch. Down. Two. Crunch. Three, crunch, four, crunch, five, crunch, six, good, nice work guys, seven, up, eight, up, nine, good, ten, last two times, up, down one more time up down now hip bridge with a single kick in four three two go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten two more times eleven 12 and done. All right, last set. I'm getting eaten alive today. I didn't have my mosquito juice out here with me. Didn't know. 
All right, on your back. Single arm, single arm. Now single arm, double arm. And then single arm, double arm. All right, right arm's the first arm, nice and controlled in four, three, two, here we go. One, and up. Two, and up. You should actually, if the weight is heavy enough, you're gonna feel this in your abdominals. Four, flow, and in. Five, and up. Six, halfway there. Seven, eight, four more times. Four, I see you, Lauren. <laughs> I'll get you. Three, this is it, you know what it is, this is it. Two, one more. One, two together, slow and controlled. It's one, and in. Two, and in. Three, and in. Four, keep it going there, you've got four, and in. Three, and in. Two, good. Last four before we do the single side. Four more. In. Three. In. Two, good, good, good. One more time. One, arms up. Left arm only. One, and up. Two, and up. Three, four, five, six, seven, four more times on this single arm, here we go, four, three, Two, one more time. Arms up, two together. This is it, guys. Open, close. Open, close. Three. Remember, it's not a bench press. It's, yeah, it's a wider opening. Good, four more again. Four. Three. Two. Last four reps. Here we go. One, two, three. Hang on in there. Four and in and let it go. Bring the weights down. Sit up and stretch your arms behind you. Open up the chest and shoulders. You got a lot of work in those shoulders today. A lot of work in your chest today. Right? Not as typical as I think you got a lot of work in everything, so we'll take a nice long stretch. Lay on your back, hug your knees all the way to your chest. Good. Let your spine rest on the floor, rock a little side to side. And just today, let's take the soles of our feet together, open up the knees, and then place the feet onto the floor. Let the hands just rest the knees open and just kind of gently guide those hips open here. Your back wants to arch again, so see if you can just tilt the pelvis. And then let's go ahead and just take the hand, take that right leg over to the left leg as you do a spinal twist. Any variation of the spinal twist. Deep, uncrossed, crossed, extended, whatever feels right to you. And then come back to center, soles of the feet together, knees are open. Guide the left knee to the right knee, or if you did the other way, do the other side. And then come back onto your back. Stretch your arms over your head. Take your opposite elbows and just reach the arms away from your head and away from each other. Maybe switch the cross of the arms once.
and then come on back, bring your knees to center, bring your hands around your shins, lift your head and shoulders up, round control your spine, pull your belly in. Rock and roll to a hands and knees position. So come on to your hands and knees, tabletop position, tuck your toes, arch your back, dip your belly. Exhale, chin to chest, rounding, curl, push the floor away, spread the upper back, release it. Inhale, back to neutral, tuck the toes, arch the back, lift the belly. One more time, just do that neutral, pull the belly in. And now find neutral, step your right foot forward, come into a low runner's lunge, hands on the inside of your leg, or maybe on your thighs if you can't reach the floor. Shoulders back, pull that hip forward. If you're not doing this on your knees, you can do this standing up with a chair, with a ball. Go ahead and just straighten that front leg. Just for enough of the hamstring strength right here. Rebend on slowly. Come on back. I'm just moving my hands with weights in front of me so I don't get the weights. Hands on the floor or on those weights. Make sure you get a nice deep stretch from the psoas on the right side. Breathe. Hands on thighs is fine. And then straighten that front leg out. Bend the knee. And tuck your right toes under and step forward with both legs now in a wide step. Hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Palms away from your head. And arms up. There's more mosquitoes coming. And then bring your chin to your chest. Roll yourself up. Stretch your arms all the way overhead. Good. Open up the arms. Stretch the front of your shoulders and chest. Pull it down. Bring it all the way up. Do it again, pull it back and down, pull it all the way up, bring your hands together, give yourselves a very big hand guys, you did awesome for you at home, stay home, stay fit, and stay healthy.